Today, Gareth is going to take an engine out of this. I'm going to put a ratchet strap around it and pull it out. No ratchet straps. No. You have to use tools. No, so what, what are we doing with this anyway? Right, we're basically engine out. We we'll strip the panels off and these wheels. We've got to sit this on the floor. I'm not sure why I'm pointing with my hand, but you get the idea. And then we will rebuild it, paint it, wheels, air ride. Either freshen up this engine or Miles might have another one yet to decide. Then we've got a tub in the rear. I'd imagine possibly pivot the fuel tank and get the filler back to where it should be. Bench seat in the front fill up some of these speed holes and give it back. So this, this turned up already on the beetle floor pan, didn't it? Already oh yeah. cut about a little bit. So it, it's, it's been started, not by us, but I, be it up I believe quite a few people have owned this yeah. prior to Miles. Um, the workmanship on it is good. It just needs finishing, really. It just needs finishing off. So the idea behind these videos is to kind of document the work to go along, so we can do a try and do a weekly, weekly update video on, on the YouTube. Something for you guys to follow along as Obviously, we don't really film that much actually in the workshop, do we? So it'd be nice to give you an insight into some of the work we do. Um, it's a bit weird because I'm not behind the camera. Jack's hiding behind the camera. Oh, well done, mate. Yeah, you know. They're, they're, they're not, they're not going to be anything special, these videos, I don't think. They're just going to be sort of chucked together, but we'll see if you guys like this kind of style of video. Or it's going to be more of a... We'll, we'll just work, because it makes life easier if we just work. Yeah, more of a day-to-day -day in the workshop, sort of. It's kind of. It's kind of sat here for the last two days, just waiting for us to get a camera out to start filming instead of actually working. So um, I suppose we should just get the engine out, really. Get on it. I'll do that hand thing. <laughs> Unfortunately, I got a phone call when we were recording and the media man, it was me, didn't check. The engine is out of the hole. Gareth has delicately removed the seat. He's now doing the other one. Delicately. Graceful. Here it comes. Graceful. Nice. Just one more forward. Have you twisted the lever? Oh, lovely. Yeah, this is kind of just. Is it one of your side? These seats aren't going back in, by the way. If they were, we would be taking a bit more, a bit more grace with this. But I'm not sure why I'm recording this, but someone, someone might want to see you take the seat up. Yeah, come soon, well. Ta-da! Fuel tanks out as well. The hole was already there. Big hole. Yeah, it's a large hole. I think we will pull it out now and give it a wash. You're not going to remove the screen. Get the off it. The out of it. Don't want Gareth getting his clothes dirty because then we'll have to buy him some more. There's none in the shop anymore. Yeah, Chris sold out a uniform. <laughs> what wardrobe is empty? <laughs> Let me just gimbal backwards with my arms. Taking over with the, the human gimbal. I am the human gimbal. The tire looks flat, but it's only on the bottom, so I'm not concerned. If I just become Vin Diesel oh, and get in here. Yeah, you can see here, you gotta be some sort of weirdly shaped human, much like Chris, to drive this. Because your feet are here, and the steering wheel's over here, so I think we'll pull the steering wheel in a bit. Maybe tweak the pedals slightly, but. It's the front bench going in it, so you will be able to sit your ass where you want it really, but it's not the best angle.
breaking it, won't it? No, oh, I've accidentally done the wrong thing. I mean, <clears throat> Start doing something. I've been a busy boy this morning. Yeah, sure. Sure. We were busy yesterday. Yes. We have stripped it down to nothing. It's now almost a beetle again. It doesn't look like a beetle. It doesn't look so much like a beetle. It's like a beetle. It's like a little Lego car. <laughs> what we've got to do now is order all the parts, wait for them to come, and then get a good hit on it. But we've stripped it down this far just to check everything mostly, to make sure it's all good to go. As I say, we didn't we didn't do the build up to this point. Um, got all the air ride stuff coming, so I imagine we'll fit that, give it a coat of paint, and then start reassembling with all of the parts that come off. Of. Well, the seats are not going back in, are they? Seats aren't going in. We're going to build a bench seat for it. All the panels are going in colour. Um, we're going to move, relocate the steering wheel and the pedals. Have you shown that yet? Yeah, I did briefly cover it, but the, the pedals and steering wheel are quite far off the set. So I think we may, we may make some new pedals and Z them over to the side slightly and then also move the wheel over just to get it all more in line. Just try and make it a little bit nicer to drive. Yeah, Gareth, sit in there and demonstrate. On what? <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the plan? Are we going to get steel? We will probably go and grab a sheet of steel now because these fronts, these front sections, mm -hmm. these will need tubbing in. And they'll stay separate. We'll leave it so everything still bolts on um, just in case for some reason in the future someone wants to take it apart again, mostly. But we will. We'll go pick up some steel now. Like I say, I've ordered most of the parts, so they'll be on the way. And I'm not sure how much more will be in this video after this. No, this, this is just the point. We're going to try and do it as a little series, aren't we? So I suppose this just shows the strip down and parts start to arrive. We can show you guys that. But... More of an introduction. Chris is in today. Say he was. There you go. Aggression. You heard it here first. When he does up the last bolt and tries to take the credit, <laughs> you've heard it here. You just screwed yourself over there, mate. <laughs> oh, it's a lie. I'm going to rebuild the engine. Yeah, I told you. I've got some new spark plugs in the car. Okay, that's like go-kart. Right, should we get some still? Yeah. Chris, do you want to do that little thing where you put your hand in front of the camera? Oh, it's half 12. I've got a couple of Anyway, yeah. Here we get some steel. It's never an easy drive, is it? We've tried. We've tried to leave the workshop about three times now. Height sensor has failed, so he's got to sort the level of the truck out like manually. Now we've got a flat tire. We will go and get some steel and carry on with this build at some point. We can go this time now. Yeah? Sweet! It's hot like the sun. I thought we was going to get still. We're at the shop. Jack's getting tobacco. <laughs> She's nice. Did you not get me anything nice? Oh, Fruitella's a bad man, sweet. You get me? You get me? Let me just. Jack, you wear. <laughs> what is this for? I'm not sure. That's a silly hole. Fruit cellar hole. A 
have a rabbit from Stanley. Dad snapped his neck. People ask why you still got a tow bar on. You can say not for this reason, it's because it makes mini scripts. Yeah. We still got the tow bar because Gareth doesn't know how to do a strap. Whoa, and then yet we still went with my idea. Wow, how about the paint? Basically, just has to look like it's tight. Yeah, it's tight. Ain't going anywhere. I like it. it What's this smell like? A prostitute's armpit, currently. The prostitute's armpit smell any different to normal people's armpits? <laughs> we need that tonight. <laughs> hey, if the wind go under that sheet, that'll flip over like that. See when that says spot, fo uh, spot focus on there? Yeah, it, it won't turn off. It will. It won't. It will. You need to get that there. Oh, that when you touch there. the screen, oh, yeah. just keep an eye on that because that won't then focus. Cool. Media. Welder. Media. I don't know what I do here. I actually don't, and no one does. The media, man, the media man's doing the welding. The welder man's... Wait, I'm happy with that. That's good. I don't know. That's the best one I've done. And it's f***ing I'm bagging T5 yeah. as usual. Four litres of gearbox all over there. No, I mean, put it back in. <laughs> no, I'll add that to the list. Just put it on the list. Yeah. Add, add gearbox oil. Is it coming up? Put it back. literally just coming up there. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna get some new boots as well. Since, uh, I'm gonna really come up to that. Put some Air Max on. <laughs> We've done Air Max, I ain't got that cotton No. Not Gareth. Not Gareth, there's three t shirts. Yeah, she's wearing Air Max as well. Yeah. The Air Max work boots. Where'd you get those shoes? It's only where I went back on it. Robux Customs for your Dropbox needs! Oh my, oh my days, oh my gosh! Alright, we're back on four wheels now. We have got a firewall stitched in. Gareth's having a bit of a, a bit of in, in lessons while he goes. Um, but he's done a lovely job on this. That'll stop stones, that's what it's there for. Fires. That'll stop everything. That will stop everything. Humans. We've followed the <laughs> we've followed the shape of the pan. Very much like the original would really I suppose. Or boxing. Yeah, we've tried to, I mean, I'm a big fan of over the top bead rolls for, you know, decorative purposes, but every panel on this is, is flat, is, you know, simple made. So we decided to follow that with the tubs. There's enough strengthening because of the, because of the folds and the thickness of the steel. Um, I'll, I'll probably slide a bead roll in somewhere in the rear, in the rear tubs just because I can't help myself, but this is now done. Just need to work out what we're going to do in terms of here. Yeah, we may we may fit the we may fit the air ride stuff. We may make a compartment there for that. I we're think talking about having a little cubby hole here as well, aren't we? Yeah, I think the plan under here is to have it like a well, a bit like a hang on, a bit like a split screen. Um, maybe fit a shelf a shelf under there. Not entirely sure yet, but obviously if we don't put something in that top, when you put your phone in the shelf, it will go into the abyss. Um, yeah, that's quite a long way back there from where you actually want it. So 
that's to be discussed. But yeah, this is about where we're up to now. Air ride stuff should be coming in the next day or so, so it'll be a case of tearing it all apart. Paint. Paint is here. Paint is here, color matches. The tree outside. Look pretty good, yeah, we painted a bush just to check. But this is, this is the new color versus the original color. It's pretty close, there is a test put on that wing. Um, I'll have a bit more finesse in, but you get the idea. Should we, uh, should we get the back on and work this last little bit? Yeah. Make this last little bit up? Yeah, that bottom panel will then complete the, the firewall bulkhead. Rear tubs, we'll, we'll wait till the wheels are on. Um, because they're going to be a bit jazzy, because they're obviously out on show all the time. But this is largely to stop you know, stones, birds, children, whatever, coming in. Stop you getting wet. Kind of it for episode one, isn't it? Actually, that bad. is. I think that will be episode one done. Um, episode two, I'd imagine, will be suspension, getting it sat right, so on and so forth. If Gareth does that little hand over the camera thing, we can end it here.